So, right now, uh, it's the next day. Um, the intake's been soaking overnight. The EGR cooler's been, had carb cleaner soaked in it for overnight. So, right now I'm gonna run to Advance and get some more carb cleaner and then um, just kind of finish cleaning up, I guess. Just have a couple of extra cans just in case I wanna spray it through. And then I'll run the air compressor through it and I will show you the reinstallation process, I guess. So I got the, or I just got home from Advanced Auto, or Advanced Auto, and I am just taking a look at the intake and a lot of crud came out of it. Like all that, um, just nasty, brake clean residue pretty much it was a little clogged up on the EGR valve there I believe and so that might have caused it a little bit so I'm gonna keep spraying this down you know like I like I have been saying the whole time run my air compressor through it and just keep spraying it and then I picked up a couple of new cans and then some degreaser so I'll clean it all Keep spraying it again and again and again whatever let it dry out let it all evaporate out and then throw it back on see what happens so right now I got the intake out of the um, bucket that I had it in and so I cleaned it up it actually looks eh, it, look, it looks better on camera than it does in real life but it's cleaner than it was and right here was actually pretty clogged uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but right there was actually really clogged. So I think that's like where the EGR opens and closes and whatnot. So that could have been my problem where it wasn't opening all the way. It was like you couldn't even see that um, little ring with the rod in it, whatever you want to call it. And so that could have been it. Other than that, I just bought, you know, I went through two more cans and another can of degreaser. Cleaned all this up. This is all dry. I put air through it. Um... I have the air compressor here and so I've just been drying it all off all these I sprayed it or put the air in here all sprays out there fine so I know it's not clogged but uh you know at least now it's more reassuring that it's pretty good and then I sprayed here and it the air comes out here so the EGR works and all that fun stuff so now uh, and I cleaned up a little bit of that piping there, sprayed that black pipe as well, just so I could get better airflow. I don't know, just routine, stupid maintenance things that like, I don't know, just to make sure it runs decent. So, I'm going to put it back on now, I think, or I'm going to let it dry for a little bit, I think, and then I will put it back on. I got new bolts and everything right here, so I got my new gaskets and six intake bolts and i think this intake has been off before because some the guy i bought it from i guess maybe did it but the one of the bolts was replaced with a metric one or a hex head one not a allen key so i'm gonna put all this back on and um i will film every so often in the process but yeah so i got the intake on i just like blew it out with a little bit of air and then sprayed a little more carb clean and then wiped up in there a little bit like whatever just shop towels and all that I have like 90,000 of those things around here now and about seven eight cans of freaking whatever um so intake again the lighting's not great sorry but intake is on you can see it's a little bit cleaner on the outside than it was hopefully it's cleaner on the inside too that's what really matters Intakes on a little bit. I gotta like torque them down to whatever I don't really know if there's a torque spec, but all I do is I take the Allen key and put like the and like Wedge it through the wrench if you know that trick like It's pretty common um, But I've been doing that. To, that's how I got them off. So I'm just gonna torque them down to what I think They're new bolts, so they're not gonna like strip or nothing. I, I hope but um See, so, so they're not—they haven't been torqued on before. So I'm gonna throw that on, and then I'm gonna put the EGR cooler on, the turbo lines and everything like that. Put my 
I have two hoses up here. One hose there that connects from right there to where it goes down to the turbo to get for air supply, whatever. And that right there connects between these two, or the bottom one here. So, and then a couple coolant lines for the EGR cooler. But uh, other than that, it's really not too much of a process. I'm going to see, and then I'll start filming when I'm done with that, I guess. And kind of bring it along for a first startup first startup I guess whatever of the new intake or cleaned intake so we'll see what happens but so right now I just got everything kind of buttoned up the intakes back on the EGR's cooler and all that is back on the turbo like lines whatever back on the like accordion looking pipe back onto the intake and this going down to where the turbo like for where the air goes in and then so I've also been replacing all these so Volkswagen uses these on this car and they're a pain to like I don't know maneuver and stuff so I've been replacing them with hose clamps that I can actually like um I don't know easily undo and so it's pretty kind of a pain in the ass but I'm gonna add some cooling right now and then because when you take your EGR cooler off you lose a lot of coolant um, so I'll film that and then I'm gonna do a first startup or I say first startup but you know what I mean right, I'm gonna spill this terribly with one hand oh, not too bad because right now it is quite empty I'm gonna put this down, fill this up, and then I will start it. All right, so I'm gonna try starting it now. Um, let's see what happens. Well, that's not good. Um, try it again. All right, that's a little better. So it's kind of smoking a lot, but that's kind of to be expected when, or you know. So, I mean, it runs. That's a plus, but uh. Let's go see if we're leaking coolant or anything like that. It's got a nice water pump squeak, but no coolant is being leaked. I don't know if you can hear me, but it seems to be going fine. A little bit of WD-40 burning off, but I can't any physical leaks so I'm gonna let this warm up oh it's good and then uh, we'll take it for a test drive and see if it still bit, like bogs down or whatever but yeah all right so I'm gonna take it for like the first drive kind of thing. I apologize if, it, if it's shaky. I don't really know what to do about that. It's a lowered car so it's a little bumpy. But um, we're going to see if anything different is happening.
success, maybe, but um, what happens is when I go on the highway for a while, when I, because when I go to work, I go on the highway in fifth gear for a little bit, and um, so it kind of, I don't know if it goes, it's not like a limp mode type thing, but it's a, um, it's something where it, I don't know, loses power, and then and I have to shut the car off and like let it sit for a little bit and then it'll reset kind of thing. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I don't know. I haven't looked into it too much, but enough to where I know I need to fix it. So um, I, the, the true test is going to be when, when that happens and if it still has all its power.